look at myself. It's been so long since I've just sat on shore. Every boat I find... I see that boat right there, but I know it's probably empty. Every boat is empty here. It's like this place doesn't even have living beings. Ah, I'll take that back. I saw a few people at the show at the uh oh, I'm so tired. Raise the anchor. I hope I don't have that food. Oh, I haven't woken up yet. Ah. Oh no. Can I leave? I don't have a water. <gasps> ah, 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 oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. I just need to find some food and some water. Well, that was easy. There's some food. Dog, I'm gonna find a lot of fresh water right there on shore. Dancing. Oh, maybe up here. It's pretty grassy. Hi. I about I could find some water. I can't find some water. Ah, but what here? Is there any water on this island? It looks so green, but oh, there's some green. There's some real green. Please be water. Oh. I think I found something. Come on. Ah, oh, thank Poseidon. I suppose I can use this for later. There we go. I don't have to be afraid anymore. Now to see if I can figure out how to share sail. Not get myself killed. <laughs> oh, damn, I thought I was going to break my legs. Um, I think I have my anchor up. I thought I put my anchor up. There we go. Let's see if I can figure this out on my own. This has to be facing the wind. <laughs> May not be a sailor, but I think I can understand that part. And then I drop this. There we go. Right, this, I'm moving. Oh, this is wonderful. That getting beard hair in me. I need to shave. I suppose I should just stay close to shore. Practice sailing. Oh, there's someone there. It's the first time I've seen a boat actually leave the harbor. I don't think I can get there. If I open the other sail, will I go faster? I'll probably have to face this one to the wind. There we go. Come now, great ship Malarkey. That lad's flag is still there. Let me just make sure. Everything's working. I think the flag says Black Wolf Trading. Never heard. Please do not crash into a sandbar. I didn't. Hear. There's another one. Thought the thought maritime law said we couldn't make towns next to free ports. 
I will. Oh, there's a boat. There's another person. There's another person. Oh, I have to find. I have to get those. I have to get to them. I had Danny had to like flag him down. I guess I could wave my sails. I hope he recognizes this. Look at my sails. Come now, look at my sails. See how they turn. Like I'm being friendly. Hi. This one makes sense, yeah. Hello. Hello. How's it going? What happens to bring you out here in the free port? Right, you a feisty little fella. Say again. Say you look like a feisty little fella. Oh, I wouldn't say that about myself. It's just the beard. All right. Never just taking on crew, son. What about yourself? I've never built a boat before, I'm just trying to figure out how it works. Alright, yeah, it could be great fun. Watch a bit of gold, you can hire some crew. Ah, oh, sorry, I think I have to drop the missile. There you go. Oh, don't lose these people. It's the first people I've ever met. What's your name, son? The name's Ian McKeever, and you? Rally Flatfinger. Flatfinger? That's an interesting name. Yeah, yeah well. Heady. It's an account of the fact that I work with a black powder, son. Terrible stain in the fingers after all the years. Ah, oh, I like it. As you can see. Well, I hope I haven't been taking up much of your time. Nah, no, that's alright. Just thought we'd see who it was. You're actually the first people I've seen on this island besides those extremely chatty folk that live in the Freeport. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not too bad. Where are you headed for? I didn't can yet. I'm trying to find if there I know anyone here. All right, okay. I don't know how much, because we're from the south, you see. We live in the tundra. Aye. Sure you find plenty of people. Watch out for the people with black sails. Black the sails? Isn't the tradition usually of the red sails? Um, should we warn him about the tall baguette fella thing that the people talked about when we first met? Oh, yeah. Started? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we ran in a car. The people, I can't remember what the names was, but they began with M, so I called them M&M. And, &M. and uh, they told us about some tall French thin fella. I don't know if he's a pirate or what. Alright, okay, so then I'm looking out for black flags on boats. Do they have any lo like logos or anything? Yeah, they will do lots of skulls and crossbones and stuff. Pretty much anything to do with that. Yeah. They see them, you run as fast as you can in the opposite of the well, don't run, literally, because that would be impressive if you could run and water. <laughs> Sail as fast as you can in the opposite direction. I'll try and make that a habit of mine. Appreciate yeah, the advice. Good, good habit. What's he what's she saying? Yeah, if you see a ship that doesn't have any sails, leg it. It's a pi piloted by this damned skeletons. That's interesting. Yeah, That's something I've never heard about before. Port and hire a couple of hens for your sails. Yeah. If you look around, you'll find little boxes in this sea. You jump in and grab a couple of them. That'll give you enough gold to get you started. Appreciate the advice. Yeah, it's all right, son. Well, Mr. McKeever, we'll leave you to your uh, shenanigans, let you learn how to sail. Very well, thank you very like much say, for the if advice. You want to find us in, if you want to find us in the future, we're in uh, the sector of the map that's known as D4. Just in northeastern Ireland. Northeastern of D4, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I'll pop by and, and let sure you know where I end up settling myself. 
Yeah, more than welcome to, son. More than welcome to. But like I say, get furs before you head over there. Otherwise, you'll freeze your bollocks off. <laughs> right then. Well, then best of luck to you out there. Ah, uh, you too, son. You too. Pink socks, it's kind of cute. Oh, she's saying that. She's, oh, she's going to freeze, isn't it? She's talking about me. If that was an interesting yeah. lot, at least. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. Just have to make sure that my boat can right. make it all the way. I need to paint these sails as well. Find somebody to paint. Well, there they go. That was a lovely group. I hope I'll run into them again. They said day... D3. That on the map will be... Ah, oh, that's all the way over on the other side of the world. Unless I remember that maps are round. <laughs> How crazy would it be if somebody out there actually thought that this world was flat like a map? That'd be ridiculous. Oh, I didn't have to think about asking them for a job. Oh, I don't think I can catch them in this boat. Ah, oh, well. Hopefully the next person I run into will be just as friendly. Just have to think for myself. myself in thought for a second. Ah. Let's do a lap around the island and see if I know how to sail. I know now that if I have both sails open, I will go faster. Oh, this would be so much better if I had a friend with me. A crewmate, that's what I want. Then he came where I want. I just don't want to sail anymore. I didn't can how to do it. I probably should sail myself. What's that? No, that's nothing. Ah! Oh, it's a turtle? That's nothing. I need to lower the sail. Rotate it so it's actually facing the wind. There we go. That makes more sense. Maybe I'll just keep it like this. I'll catch wind in any direction that it blows. I didn't know if that counts as cheating. On the great ship Malarkey. Great ship malarkey. Ah, oh, this isn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I really need a haircut though. Our scenic freeport and this giant wool. Maybe I'll do a lap. Make it jealous of my sailing skills. I definitely can put a raft together much better than the man at the, the harbor. Anyway, I'm going to waste my deal like that. Maybe I'll sail north. Oh, then the wind won't be taken with me. Oh, there the wind goes. Okay. I just have to be very careful about how I do these things. someone
Ah! Getting myself wet. <laughs> then again, what I was thinking, if I'm going to be on a boat, of course I'm going to get wet. This would be so much better with crew. But can they pay any crew without any money? That man said there was floatsome out there that I could capture. Use that. But what kind of luck is it to actually find any gold out here? Just floating around? Gold sinks? It must be in like a box? That would make sense. On the great ship Malarkey. My ears keep getting filled up with water and I lose... I can't hear... I can't hear anything. Just ghosts. Where am I going? I don't want to leave Isolight of the shore. I'm nervous. Do I really... Can I go out there? I kind of really... I should just stay near the shore. I'm so nervous. I didn't again, I can go out there. Where would it take me? Oh, right, there I can go. Let's just travel back to the northern freeport. That's good practice. I don't know where it is. There we go. We just need to open up the compass. Make sure I'm traveling in the right direction. Ah, right, there we go. That way. A great sailor, McKeever. And your great ship, Malarkey. That's lovely. I just have to find myself a friend or two. I think I've gotten about was to get myself some more salt in my ears. Just wash out my ears for a second. There we go. I clean out my ears. There we go. Alright then, so that there. That there is the western freeport. Alright. Let me check my supplies. Did I bring anything? I'm smart enough to bring berries at least. Not smart enough to bring any meat. Ah, oh, well. I suppose if I just go north and then east, I can get to the other island. That'll give me some practice before I get out to the deeper sea. I think my boat is getting pretty sturdy. Maybe the, the sunlight is treating it well. <laughs> this boat is durable enough to handle a storm. Any more salt in my ears? Right, where does the compass say I'm traveling now? Probably should turn more eastward. Well, at least it looks like I'm capturing the wind that way, though. Aye, there we go. I understand now. Just have to make the sails come out like that. Once they're all fluffy out like this, that means I'm catching on wind. That makes sense. Now, I always heard stories about getting sea legs. Does that mean my legs are supposed to be wobbly while I'm out here? I suppose that makes sense. And the great ship Malarkey. Oh, 
bullshit malarkey. Ah, let me swig some water in my mouth. Maybe a few shanties will keep me sane while I sail this way. Oh, what do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hain up she rises, way hain up she rises, way hain up she rises early in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him, put him with the scuppers with the hose pipe on him, put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him early in the morning. <laughs> At least there's no one around to judge my singing voice. I've got that going on for me. Way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises or lie in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober, put him in the brig until he's sober, put him in the brig until he's sober or lie in the morning. <laughs> I'm not going mad with all this hair. It's the longest my hair has ever been in my life. I'm not kidding about it. No, no, I think about it. I think those people were sailing in this direction too. Maybe I'll run into them again. But then again, they said they lived in the south. I didn't know anything about the south. There we go. I don't think I need lots of crew. How are we doing? I think I see the shore. I hope I'm not hallucinating. Let's have a look at this. If I'm traveling this way right, I should be seeing this soon. Oh, is that what the man was talking about? I see him. I have to close my shields. Oh no, oh no. Wait! Wait, 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 where did it go? Ah, oh, there it is. <gasps> ah, ah, oh, it's cold. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, just get that. Get this boat. Hopefully I don't, like, run into a shark or anything. There we go. There's some meat in here, too. That's fantastic. Let me bring it back to my boat. Come on now. Oh, it's so cold. There we go, there's nothing in the deep blue sea that's going to grab me. There's nothing down there. There's nothing down there. Oh, I have bad grip, I can't... There we go. What did I find out there? <gasps> so cold. Ah, at least I found some meat for myself. And an onion. Oh, some gold. There we go. Nah, he said I could use gold to find a crew. I hope currency works the same way in these lands as it does everywhere else. <laughs> Let's drop the sail here. Okay, warm up. Warm up. Warm up. Actually, bling the fire on. There we go. Just do not burn my boat down. <gasps> learn how to swim better too. There we go. A potato! <laughs> That's racist. Oh, that really looks like my boat's burning down. I really hope everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's nothing in the water and there's nothing in the sky. This world feels so choppy. I don't know if it's the wind, the waves, or my own stomach, but the world feels like it's chopping in and out. Oh, there was food in here the whole time! Oh, praise Poseidon again. We'll live to see another day. And now we've got money. I mean, I can put salt in my ears again. I 
in here. I guess I could put this in here. I don't have to worry about it getting stolen if somebody comes and kidnaps me. But then again, I guess if they're kidnapping me, they're kidnapping the whole boat too. I didn't know what I was thinking there. At least I can get warm if I just stand by my fire. Oh, it's so cold. There we go. At least I'll warm up. Just dry up a little bit. Being wet all the time is exhausting. Feel weighed down. So cold. At least I can see shore. There we go. We'll park at Freeport. Try and dry my clothes off, get some food. And maybe I'll finally be brave enough to go out into the sea on my own. I can use ah, I can use the gold. I can use the gold. I'll pay them. I can put this up now. I dreamed a dream the other night. Lowlands, lowlands away, image on. My love, she came all dressed in white. Go lands away. I dreamt my love came in my sleep. Lo lands, lo lands away, me John. All dressed in white, like so fair bright. Lowlands away And in, in her lovely bosom fair Lowlands, lowlands away, me John Oh, red, red rose My love did keep Lowlands away. Ah, oh, looks like I can see it. There we go. What did they say, land ho? Oh, that's what they say. I. Ah, then we'll keep this all in the wind. At least they're not difficult to turn. Just have to find myself back onto shore. Park me boat. Catch my breath. That's it. I hope that's it. So I'm not in really much of a hurry. Maybe I should house additional crew. I guess if I have two people on the sails and then I have one person myself at the helm. I feel like I'm getting stabbed by a cat, but I don't see a cat. Get a cat stole away on my boat. Maybe I should slow down. Didn't think I can want to get myself killed right away. Barely know where I am. Ah, ah. I can't see where I'm going anymore. There we go. There's a lot of boats here. Let's see if I recognize any of them. Let's not sink either. Is that the free port? I really want to say it is. 
You can't really tell from here. It's a sandbar! Oh no, oh no, oh no, please do not sink. Do not get stuck. Come on, you can do it. You can pull your way through. Oh, this is why I need a sailor. I'm not a sailor. Oh, there we go. Please, thank you. I need to make sure not to land in any of those again. That is the that is the harbor. Oh, thank Lord. I guess I'm going to drop my anchor down in there. Let's just turn this boat around. Uh, I hope I don't crash. I've never tried the dock before. Well, I suppose that's very obvious since I've never sailed before. Ah, 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 ah. Close this. Go really slow. I need to go really slow. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Please. Oh, yeah. If I can come up right there on the side and I slow in, is that how boats work? I hope that's how boats work. Just set it down nice and gently there. Nice and gently. Let's make sure we land right. I do not want to do build another boat. Been here for weeks, for months, it, even it feels like. Let's not crash, let's not crash, let's not crash the boat. Alright, let's bring this piece of wood back to shore without damaging it. Now turn, 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 please turn, please turn. Ah, Danae, if it's turning. There we go, please turn, please turn sharper. Oh, this might not go the way I want it to. Woo, there we go, that was tight. Oh, Lord! Thank you. Lord pleasure. there! I don't think you can get it any closer than that. Well, I suppose I would have sailed it a little better if somebody didn't try and jump on my face. I will, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't help it. I'm just having a bad day. I I suppose I'm in the same boat there. Well, I suppose I'm literally in a boat too. I At least you're in one. <laughs> That's true. Ian McKeever, your name there, lass. I'm Ian Smith. It's a pleasure to meet you. What brings you out here? I, uh, I I got shipwrecked and I got stuck out here. I, I can't sail very well and I was trying to learn how to and yeah, it didn't turn out so well for me. <laughs> oh, that's very familiar. That's exactly what I'm doing. Hi, so that that's why you're so close to the dock. I it's my first time. <laughs> Either. Nah, I jumped. I jumped off the sail. Hang on one second. There, that looks better. So what you here? Or 
Or did you just wash ashore not too long ago? I, I'm in the same boat as you. No memory. The yatta yatta. I blame well, the hello, meat. Flynn. Excuse me, what? Hi. Hello there. I Do I know you? Nice as shit. Wait, 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 wait. Do I know you? All he knows. Hey, I be Ann Smith, Admiral Bubbles' wife. Oh, that's right. Oh, again, okay, man. okay. Gotcha. You you look familiar, but it, it looks like your face is it, it, yeah. It's got a hole it's, in it. uh, Unfortunate. So, I, um, I mean, you looked real familiar, but at the same time, I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. Unfortunate smelting accident, you know, yeah. Hey, that'd be no good. You know, <laughs> well, yeah, the eye patch kind of gives me away, I suppose. <laughs> the goatee. I... Yeah, I was not doing very the whole... many people that I, I, I see that have the goatees that don't have painted hair. Yeah, well, I mean, technically my hair is painted. I mean, it's brown. I painted brown. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> hey, well, mine's painted too, but don't tell anybody, because otherwise it'd be gray. Over here, you stupid wolf. If you're gonna be the wolf, you fucking idiot. Lord! God. Well, that's an interesting sight. What is? Well, where I'm from, I don't see a lot of people riding all around on giant dire wolves. Really? Well, I guess I'm not that. But my boat is literally called the Flying Lichen, and it has wings on it. <laughs> That's a very beautiful ship you have there. Yeah, I've until it becomes a, a big problem. With the wings on their ships. Yeah, well, they copied it off of fucking me, didn't they? Seems you're having a marketing problem. I think, I, I think someone in the fleet that we joined has one like that. Right, and I wonder where might they have gotten it from considering I was uh, definitely the first person to make it because I had that boat since, uh, I don't know, like the first week. But nobody's going to give Captain Flynn credit for all of his genius ideas. Oh, don't you worry though. Pretty soon they fucking will. Pretty soon they fucking will. Well then. It'll come soon enough. Yeah, soon enough. Here to the free port. Oh, I'm just getting crew because mine starved to death because I'm lazy and forgot to feed them. Are oh, you looking for hands? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I do look for hands sometimes. It depends on the woman. Uh, <laughs> I mean, for you your ask? boat there. You're looking for crew. Looking for assistance. Oh, you want to join the thieves? Uh, I don't know if you really have what it takes, but uh, you seem too nice and friendly to be a thief. Uh, he could be a pirate. We could teach him a thing or two if he can't be a thief. Don't you think charisma is an important, like, training skill? Well, yeah, you got to be a silver-tongued devil and a master of disguise, expert of subterfuge. I didn't manage to put on a good impression to make you think that I'm not very dangerous. Well, I suppose maybe you have, which is good. Um, so you think he could be a pirate and not a thief? I mean, pirates actually technically more deadly well, than a thief. Well, technically, we uh, as long as we kill the French, I really don't give a damn. Why well, can I argue with that? <laughs> I they sunk one of our vessels yesterday. Oh, so you don't like the French. Who else don't you like? Just curious, just wondering. Just, just a uh, sure. Let's see, I don't like the French, I don't like the Dread Horse, and we don't like the Sea Bitches. The Sea Bitches? Interesting. The, the, there's some outstanding issues with the guild, the crew that we joined that... Oh yeah. man, this is really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk to Bubbles uh, later. <laughs> Pretty important, actually. Why do you say that? Just let him know that I need to talk to him, and it's pretty important. And make sure nobody else knows 
that it was me or that this is gonna happen. Don't mention my name to anybody. Nobody I, can know. I, I'll, I'll Nobody. Talk to bubbles in secrecy. Don't oh worry. great! When, There's another guy he here listening in on us. Awesome. Oh look at that! Hello. Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? The name and who is are you a part of? I, I feel short beside him. He's so tall. Lieutenant Steve of Magnetic North Trading. Yourself. Magnetic North Trading, you say. I he, he and you are. Who are you affiliated with? I'm not affiliated with anyone. Something about keeping people's mouths shut. <clears throat> what do you think on this one, Anne? I completely spaced out for a second. Uh, What's going on now? Are, uh, believe there are Freeport laws as well. Oh. <clears throat> right. Um, awkward position here because you know, like I don't want to kill you. You know, I'm not, I'm not a dick. But you have to definitely keep your mouth shut about everything you heard, or I definitely well, I didn't will have really to kill you at some point. Well, it sounds like you were talking about something important. Who, uh, who might you be all affiliated with, and what are your names? I, uh, the My name's Humphrey Hornswallow. I'm a member of the Hemp Trading Company. No. Just wait you one moment there. Hades Moon, you say? C3, yes? C3? No. There, there might be someone there in C3 from us, but not that I'm, I'm aware of. I'm new to the... We just joined the crew not too long ago. Oh, no, there's, there's a Hades Moon establishment and basis I believe in uh, D3 or C3 I think it's D3 actually I, the, pleasure the to meet D3 you the D3 location was from where we were I we were in that process of like getting stuff moved around and turned into an outpost more than an actual base I am familiar with the seas and the islands I actually live in a place now where it rains very good. Sorry to bother you, you all, but does anyone to, happen to have uh, anything with vitamin D in it? Nope. Fish. I, uh, I think I have to... What is your name? You haven't spoken yet. Hi. Well, I'll finish with this conversation. I have to just slide out of this for a wee quick second. Excuse me. Alright. Yeah, Ian, I got a, a, uh, a deal for you as well when you get back. <gasps> Oh, it's cold. Well, uh, I'm actually so I mean, we could ask him about it. Of course, of course. Let's right. just bring this onto shore. Where are we go? Where did the fish go? Yeah, and only one of them has a gun. I got shipwrecked and. There we go. I don't think anybody's going to mind if I just take a nibble out of this without cooking it. Are you staying with Hades Moon then? Oh, Hi. oh at least, oh, at least my vision won't be shaking anymore. Okay, let me just. I probably made I'd a terrible right first back, impression. But I can't be uh, caught dead uh, anywhere near you. So. Uh, is that something outstanding with 
guys that we joined, or with you guys? Pretty much, uh, guys are doing fine, yeah. Terribly uh, sorry about so. that. So what is your name, you sir? My name other than the bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> I, I think I heard something, but I, I, I think it might have just been the wind. I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. So before you stand three recruiters in three different companies, what is your name and what is it that you seek on the seas? Oh, my name is Ian McKeever. I'm just looking for work somewhere to actually like plant my feet so that I'm not freezing to death on the shore anymore well what's your preferences in life I mean like what, do you, what are your goals what do you want to do you know you want to be a thief you want to be a pirate you want to be I don't know like a baker or you know, preference is survival guy. sir I just anything that will help me keep alive be more successful than the, the chump below me I suppose all right, well, if you come with me, I'm going to take you a place called Barter Town, and it's going to be a nice little town, and they do deals with people, they're traders, and you're going to be an honorary member of my stuff, too, so I'm going to take you on missions and things like that as well when I, you know, happen to be around there. And if you come with me, I'll take you to a hidden location. You'll have all the resources you need to build your own home how you like. I will also take you on missions. We do both trading and piracy. And we've made some strong alliances. We sell all the seas here. And That's you will have good. your... Uh, with a little bit of your own elbow grease, you will also have your own ship or ships that you can use solely for yourself and your own scouting missions. We also have a vault built where you can store any of your belongings with our assistance. And it would take no less than 100 cannon shots to pierce. I believe there's one more recruiter who may want to pitch herself That's as well. very mathematical. I well, if you come with me, you can kill the French, and you can kill the pirates that think it's cool to go around robbing other pirates because they don't believe in the piracy code. And I, I think right now, between that, we'll be going on treasure hunts and finding all kinds of loot and raping, pillaging, and plundering whoever we feel like. Whoa, 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 did you say raping? I am well, a pirate. You gotta throw the option out there. He might like that. You never know, okay? Yeah. Aye, so, so what are you trying <laughs> to say? Is it okay for a man to say that, but not for a woman? Yeah, no, right? I just, that? I just... It's real well. sexist, buddy. Real sexist. No, it's not a matter of male or female, it's just a matter of, uh, well, we'll get into I it later. Like I'm going to be told to go to the kitchen next and cook. Wow. This has gotten really interesting. Now, <laughs> I suppose the yeah, most interesting the offer that I've heard so far is just to antagonize the French in any which way I can. I... Well, we are also against the French. We I think all three of us here... We'll be doing that again with the promise of them for sure. Area. I think all three of us are against the French. I suppose I'll have to take you up on your offer then. I like the idea of immediate. Aye. Sounds good. Also, uh... You know, I wasn't going to mention it, but, you know, if you went with that guy, he's clearly a liar because he came here and said he wasn't affiliated with anybody. And then he mentions that he has big alliances. He's, he's got alliances and everything. Right. I am a liar. Well, you at least you're honest about to it. Not to. Indeed. I'm here to be honest to people I'm interested in recruiting, and I'm not interested in recruiting either of these two as they have a company already. Right. I. Well, I mean, who are your big alliances with? I mean, t technically it's possible we could just technically be allied with the same people, you know? We could also be enemies, which is why it's better if I keep my mouth closed. Be safe, and I hope you have made a good choice. I hope so as well, thank I you. Mean, it seems like you're a pirate, right? I believe so now. Right, buddy. There'd be a piracy code speaking. to follow. 
But it, if that's the case, we should have been like this here. We don't need to, you know, get this whole veil going. I just didn't know who you were. I, you're in good company. Let's keep it at that. Does that mean I be in good company or no? I. Well, Perhaps we'll meet in a tavern sometime and share a drink. I maybe I, hopefully we we'll, won't be passed objective. out on the street like these folk. Good day. Right, right well, I gotta get some gold real quick. I'll be right back. Hold on, one second. D did he need to do something for us? Did he need to do something with us? I don't know. I, I just need to. I'm, I'm gonna have to double check to make sure he don't need anything for tell Admiral. Hi. Now, do you have a boat? You said you were practicing sailing. I uh, I'm trying to get the hang of it. It's just really hard to do. Hands don't like cooperating, right? <laughs> that makes I, sense. I, I even fumble with pistols if I try to shoot them. So I, I usually don't even use them. I stick to a boat. Right. Well, then I'll make sure that I'll stay at the helm then. I I could operate the sail for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you oh can do that, boy. at least I'll be Either a little bit more productive. Sail, that's not good. I will we'll manage just fine. <laughs> I, I know we have to go north. Uh, did you need anything else? Far did he go? Flynn, do I need to let Bubbles yeah. know anything else? No, just... I can't talk about it here. The details. Obviously okay. there's people around, which I probably shouldn't even said as much as I did, but I don't think it's enough information. I don't think I said enough to really... Ah, uh, didn't I think most of the people that live in this town are very good at conversation? There's nothing wrong with wanting to meet up with somebody, you know? I mean, who knows? It could be for a drink, it could be to plot something evil, you never know. Right, yeah. Well, also, did not see him know when he wakes up. He shouldn't know my name, he shouldn't know who I am. Didn't. But Technically, yeah, he should think my name is Henry Humphrey Hornswallow. Oh, that man made a lot of friends real quick. Right, yeah, that's good. Just let him know. And uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, uh, the only place to find me in order to actually like get a meeting set up would probably be to talk to. Is he the only one who knows my whereabouts? I. Okay. So, if we have to, worst case scenario, I, I know for sure we can always send a raven to Nyx or something. Yeah, exactly. Yep, send one to her. Okay. And then I'll be able we'll to do. seek you out. Alright, perfect. You be sailing safe on the seas now. You as well. I suppose the first order of business is trying to find a way out of this dock now. Uh, most I know is pull the anchor up and then just turn it. Well, at least we've got that down. Hey. I thought I heard the old man say, leave her, Johnny, leave her. me is my match broken half the time. Oh, really? Hi. Oh, gee, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Whoa! What is What is happening?
Boah. Alright, well that happened. Alright, well, good luck out there. Don't run, uh, don't smash into too much shit. I <laughs> we're gonna need it. We can't make any promises. Um, I'd also advise you to like do some paperweight work with that guy before you go, cause otherwise, like, what happens if he passes out? What you say? Now I think it's a lot safer to open the sails, right? Go, we're moving. It's a lovely boat. Now you said north, right? shallow on this side. Suppose this will be a graduation test then. Vision's all shaky from the vitamin D. Guys, we have to stop for a second and, and get something to put you down for a nap. Ah, nay, nay. Let's just get out of here. I think I can fare better once we're out of this hell. Doesn't help that I feel like the universe itself is trying to chop itself apart. I that probably don't help too much. I if that was me, I would have just ran the ship through. There we go, first try. up some fish. There we go, at least I can see straight now. Now you said, now have you been here before, this place we're going? That's good. I didn't want to show up uninvited. I 
I suppose now that we're out of the shallow areas, I'll be safe to take over. You'll be fine for a quick nap. I should be. Damn, she went out like a brick. That took a record amount of time. Hey, that'd be way better. <laughs> well, that's good. From the looks of it, we have to go to the northeast. Northeast? All right. Aye. Northeast. East. More, more this way. Don't look like we're too far from here at all. All right, northeast it is. So how did you make these folks? I'm sorry, what was that again? How did you meet these folks that were going to join? I, uh, funny thing is, when we first came to the island, uh, we ran into some pirates that told us if we captured a little short, fat Frenchman, they would give us the Admiral's weight in gold. And the Admiral's a big guy, and so we've been trying to capture So there's a sickness spreading around that explains all the people in the streets there at Freeport. I... How long has this sickness been going on? Uh, it, it, it just affects various people at different times and stages. Well, I hope I last a good long time before that sort of sickness catches hold of me. I, hopefully you don't come down with it. And what do you do personally? As a career, I suppose. Uh, I cook. I drink. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> I'm always drinking everybody Whoa. under the table. Uh, I like taming. I do uh, some armor upkeep and stuff. So all the way across the board? At least you keep I, yourself busy. A little bit. I, I just, I, I don't handle any of the weapons or shipbuilding or anything like that. So. That makes sense. Really don't have a talent There's myself. There's people around to do that, so. I, I like taking stuff and getting drunk, so. If sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. Ah, I see. Is there any sort of work that's in short supply where we're going? I, I think the big thing that we need is that we've got to get our defenses up more. Because after what happened with the French yesterday, it kind of proved that we weren't ready for it. But, I mean, they did bring about 20 or 30 people to attack six people. Damn, that sounds like a very French tactic. Aye, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> but we all know the French are known for being pussies.
They're very friendly. I they're everywhere. I don't notice them this on the bigger ships. You only notice like two or three, but it seems like there's a bunch of them. Right. Is that the island up there? Aye. Well, then away we go. has an outpost that where we can make all our munitions and everything and the other half of the island has our base ah uh, keeping all of your assets separate that's smart so i suppose the main thing that people well, need right now is just go to water labor one area that we can uh like make our cannonballs or whatever because right where the base is there's no metal or stone or anything but the other areas, like neutral ground where it's claimed, people haven't really built up in that area, so it, it makes it good to resource. Oh, I understand. Okay. The the part with the big part sticking up, that's where the base side is. The large spire there, all right. Uh, I the part that looks like a penis sticking up is where the uh, mortar towers are that we have. Oh, that's lovely. The only bad thing is we have to up our defenses because they were able to scale the, to the top of the tower without our ladder down. So what we're gonna have to we were talking about doing is taking some ceilings and putting them around the upper edge where they can't get over it if they climb up. Are you talking about building like an out, like a lip outside? I. How did they get up there in the first place? Like, was the mortars not enough like munitions Climbing to keep them pits. at bay? Uh, no, they actually they had the ship fairly close, and apparently, I, I think what they did is that uh, they were keeping on the big ships out of mortar range, and they sent people to climb the rock. What about putting swivel cannons up there so when people try and climb up, you just fire a grape shot into their face? Tell me that's a good idea. You that tell wouldn't me. be a bad idea, but I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt if we could get some of the crew members up there. Aye. Alright, so looks like this is a couple of different archipelagos, so am I, I'm going directly to that actual tall penis spire. Change where I what was that? So just to be sure, I'm trying to get all the way straight to the deck, right? I pretty much. Uh, the, there's one side where our warships are, and then if you just kind of go around the island, some you, you'll see all the resource ships. Which actually, I think if we go more straight into where we are, is where all the little ships are. All right. Now we have a way of signaling to them so that they won't fire upon us, right? I don't want to make a terrible first impression. I, I, I don't think they will. Uh, I don't. I don't even know that anybody was awake. Oh, well, that's not safe. there was anybody else awake that could have sailed the ship, I wouldn't have wrecked mine. <laughs> I won't lie, I'm not too familiar with my way around the island yet. I, I don't think I've left this place very much since I, I've traveled here initially. Oh, really? I think I might have left here once or twice. That cozy, eh? I. I see some sort of docks and shipyards. I is that where we're going? I think this is the little ships. Oh, 
Oh, so impressive, it's making my mind stutter. Actually, this is not ours right here. Yeah, it is, I think. I can't fucking tell. <laughs> I know we got towers and stuff, but I, I don't remember us being built up on the cliff like that. That's not us, because that's all big gate. That is not us? Um, Alright. We don't have big gates. I'll keep a friendly wide berth, then. At first I thought it was because they have the towers like ours, and then it's like, wait a minute, nope. Because we have a few towers like that. Would this be a type of opposition for us, or is this, uh, any friends of ours? Um, I think it might actually be part of the opposition, because I know somewhere around here there's a French outpost too. Of course, I'll keep that in mind then. Do you want me to open this sail back up? That way we go around a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I got it, but thanks for the offer. I wonder how long the delay is between my communications and Harris. Yeah, it, it looks a lot weirder down this low, too, on a ship, where I'm used to being on the bigger ships. It looks a lot weirder traveling this low to the water. <laughs> well, I guess I'm, I'm glad I'm giving you an interesting viewpoint. Hey, galleys and brigs are not this low to the water. <laughs> the big bastards. It's been a while since I've traveled on a sloop. Hey, there's a ship to our right that be one of I think that's one of the ones at the outpost. Oh, so you want us to head over there then? Uh, no, we can go back to the base. Alright. So, yeah. Just head straight like the way you're headed right there. Because uh, the outpost is literally like across from where the little ships go. All right, well then, uh, you can handle the speed that we get there with the sails and let me know when you see it. I, I see some ships coming into you. I'll close one sail. I'm, I'm not too familiar with how quick we need to go, but I know see we can go in. I guess it don't need to be closed. Especially since we're about to lose the wind when we turn towards these. I see the tower. crash into anything. My perception's getting a little screwy. Whoa. That was bright. I'll close that one because you should be able to back in. A back in? Oh, that's something I haven't learned yet. I... And you have to do it continuously. Alright, let's try this out. So you said what now? Think S. It'll feel like it's going slow to do that, but... Oh, I think it's happening. Alright, alright. Well, that's lovely. That's probably a lot better than the crashing up on the shore. I... Makes it easier too, where unless somebody's on your shore, they can't see the names of your ships also. 
Ah. What does that flag say? Something about f sea bitches? Death to all French and the sea bitches. Hades moon. <laughs> Good to know that they wear their expressions on their sleeves. I everybody tried capturing a French cupcake yesterday. The Admiral likes to call all, all the women cupcakes, but they they tried capturing the French cupcake. And sh we turned around to start fighting a crocodile to make sure she stayed safe. And we didn't handcuff her, we didn't cage her, nothing like that. And she ended up running away and getting laid. And then the French Navy came with a bunch of allies and started blowing our shit up. Oh, so that sounds like it became a Are whole you thing. Yet? Not yet. I was thinking about just getting my ass right up here. Going as far back as you can take it, huh? There That's we okay. go. It looks like this floating on a rock. Do you see that or is that just me? No, it looks like every everything's safe and out of contact. I, I don't know. For me, it, it looks like it's on the... <laughs> if I step right here, I can tell it's not. So this, this is home. This is home base. Aye. There's plenty of little outposts around the seas. Hmm. What a sight that is. What's that? I was just admiring the sight. I was wondering if there was something in particular you were talking about. Just in general, I suppose. It's a lot more interesting than the Freeport. Aye. That is down. You can go up that head and really see a sight. I think it should be down. Wow. This is what it's like. Hey, they never brought it back down yesterday. This place is beautiful. This woman can run. I was going to show you up at the top of the tower, but apparently they forgot to roll down the ladder after the altercation last night. Ah, uh -huh, that's fine then. We have crew quarters through here. Like, all these little houses are for the crew. Um, this one right here is empty. So I can if go ahead and claim this one. Make it yours and put your name on it. I. Let me do that before I forget. And there is already storage box in there. I don't know if I left anything in there. I had used this one day before our house got big. So at <laughs> least you have a storage box in there. There's something. A starting point. Luckily, I didn't, uh, I didn't forget nothing. In there. I'm very forgetful about where I put my stuff. I've got a little garden right here. Industrious. This 
is our tavern. Uh-oh, somebody left doors open. It wasn't me. Watch now. Coming in now. Uh, just coming in here. Oh, there you are. And that be you. Hello. Boy, where the hell be the room? Where's what? I don't know about room, but I got grog in here. Oh, that'd be good. Such a beautiful town. Oh, I woke up and all my stuff is gone. Really? I went to bed. Everything was intact. Woke up. I ain't got nothing. All my clothes. Me sended armor. What? Me rifle. Everything be gone. I don't know why. Where were you? I I was in my house. Oh, I think. You th you think maybe that has something to do with the French encounter? Oh, that'd be so much. Oh, who the hell? Who's this? Hi, I be his name be Ian. Ian McKeever. Pleasure to meet you. On this he, one. Uh, I, I got kind of shipwrecked around the Freeport, and I recruited him, and he brought me back here. Oh, and obviously and I, I suck tell at you sailing. About drinking and sailing. Oh, I... <laughs> I can't help it. When you have eight drugs, the world seems to spin. Oh, I know. That's it why seems he's like your ship goes underwater. Relax. Oh, I, that's usually when I just grab me a raft and just lay on it. Let the oceans take me where it wants. Oh, I've seen many adventures doing that. That sounds there, peaceful. Oh boy, there. Ooh. Oh, when that grog kicks in. Kicks in. Ah, oh, I feel like myself again. Well, that's oh, good. So what was the name again? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Ah, that's no problem. Ian McKeever is the name. Pleasure to meet you. Aye, right, good to meet you. Name be Captain Williams. Huh. Hmm. Well, good to know you, Captain. Aye, right, so what brings you to Hades Moon? Well, I was sick and tired of freezing my ass off on Freeport since no one was letting me in there. Then this last came and ran by and offered me a job, and that's pretty much all I took. I did like the prospect of fighting the French, though. Hey, he, he got three offers at once. No, I hey, three offers. Hey, he got an man. offer from me, from the Thieves Guild, and sort of merchant trading company. I how the Thieves Guild be doing? I have no idea. I ain't, I ain't heard nothing from him. I suppose that's uh, good news for them, then. Are allies or enemies with them or anything? I, in fact, I don't think we really anything with them. I, I think I've only come across them maybe once. And I, I don't remember. The only one I, don't I think I've anything ever bad. dealt with is a uh, rider guy. He, he wanted Aye. to buy a rhino from us. No, it was an elephant. Boy, I can't even remember. He, want, what he the wanted to buy an elephant, was. and then we were cyclops hunting one day, and we came <laughs> across him up there, and he ended up giving me a thousand gold to go punching a cyclops. Boy, the, uh, I so they're the good, good by me. <laughs> oh. I any gold is better than no gold. I... At least that's something everybody can agree on. I could wholeheartedly. It's 
be my th one of my favorite things. <laughs> Rum and gold. So what's there that need to be done around here? I uh, we be working on defenses as of right now. And then we'll be building back our fleet. I want to kind of get the compound squared away. Them bloody French got over our walls quite too easy. Uh, that's what I heard. Aye. Uh, it took a lot of them. But... Well, there's at least the that. End, they still got over. Now, so I suppose then you need... Have some pudding. It's at your feet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, pun! I love pun. <laughs> so I suppose then that means you'll need things like metal, flint, rock, that kind of thing. I we's uh we's got an outpost uh, just across the island there. And, uh, it has a rhino. Pretty much everything you can need to make that stuff. Uh, all the metal in the world is on. Everything possibly made. We got sugars to make the organic paste. We got the metal to melt down. We got flint, the stone, wood, fibers, you, everything. Can yes. you make the ship parts for a galley or no? Um, what, what in the devil's going on with your body? Uh, I ate a pudding. Uh, pudding's pretty eat magical. Eat pudding. I the speed voodoo pudding. I. No. I think he's trying to kill me. <laughs> I, I thought you might like the experience. <laughs> Seems just like a pretty magical one. Oh yeah. Let me try this out. Oh, I may have over eight, but it's an interesting experience. I I also over ate the dead. Kurt's little. You'll be okay. I think the force will protect you. No, oh, it will. Actually, look at that. Your eyes were even glowing. Some powerful pudding. Hey, he, he's doing voodoo magic for you <laughs> over there. No, no. Just a little gift from me pops, that's all. Ah. Uh -huh. I, I Makes mean, it easier I've for me to see the kind enemies. Of voodoo, but my, mine don't look as cool as yours. <laughs> oh, boy, that looked like you got really pissed off there for a moment. Like, well, really angry. Well, I can do a little bit of this at least. There we go, that's something, oh, I eh? Doing that. There we go. That's something we all can share. Look at you go! Now we just need some music, too. And it'd be a party. <laughs> I Hopefully I'll be able to pick up my harp again. Or not the harp, the uh, accordion. I have a few sheets of music for it. Hopefully you should be a bloody awful at it. We've got music. Oh, we've got tons of music. Well, if you ever have any instruments I've lying around and in need of been entertainment. I've able to play my first uh, medium music piece the other day on the accordion. I was so proud of myself because it was one that's kicked my ass many a times. <laughs> Stepping up into the difficulties. That's nice. That's good to know. I try. Then I shot it. Mediums are a lot harder. Lovely difficult jump. Well, that's not very efficient. I oh, it made me mad. I it probably gave it a different tune. Oh, I 
sounds so sort of like when an elephant farts. Hear it? <laughs> Quite a you mean that sound that, that, that they make every time they drop a big old French chocolate on the ground? French Aye. chocolate. <laughs> Just like the French chocolate. We make a funny noise. Especially like when you <laughs> shoot the little French guy in the butt when he's running. Aye. That little sound, the squeak that they make. That be how the accordion sound. To eat a French chocolate that told him it was gonna put some weight on his bones. Poor Rupert. Uh, oh, that had been. <laughs> that sounds lovely. I'm sure it was quite the experience. I uh, sort of like him and his butt pirates. I. That's so funny. I. I, I wish you were awake now. When Rupert awakes, and you meet him, for a laugh, just tell him you're a butt pirate. So you if I meet someone named, reaction. he said Pete? His name be Rupert. He, his name's Rupert. Little scraggly he's guy. He's a really, really skinny old man. So I have to make I, sure to tell this man Rupert that he's a butt pirate? I know, know that, that you're a butt pirate. Or that I'm I, a butt pirate. I'd be terrified of butt pirates. Tell uh, him he'd be you're terrified. A butt pirate of him. And you came for his booty. <laughs> that sounds like pretty good adult professional humor there. I'll make sure to do that. <laughs> I. I. Hey, should we give him a flare gun to shoot at him too? Or to at least pull on him? I know that that may bring out some bad memories for him. I didn't want to make a terrible there. first impression. I remember the first time I met Rupert in the Freeport. I, I felt so, so bad. I, I started asking him questions about how long he's been there. And then I, I made the mistake of asking him about his family, which now that I met his wife, I can understand why that was so upsetting for him. Oh, yeah. That's, that's I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was pretty, pretty hard to find her to get reunited with her. Yes, I can imagine. Definitely. I, I thought Admiral was gonna shoot me because I made poor Rupert cry in the Freeport. <laughs> oh boy, it went that far, huh? I. He he was running away from me in the water and trying to swim away from me, and I was just trying to be friendly. You know, every time someone swims away from me, I have this tendency of shooting them right in the butt. I mean, it's just like a habit. Seems like everybody I meet, they run away, I shoot them in the butt. That's just how all my encounters go with everybody. Like, it's uh, just well, we didn't run happen. away from you guys when we first met you. And I, I think know. we you, met you, you in the Freeport the as soon as we washed ashore. Aye, that's why I was so surprised be the first that didn't run. Everybody else, they run, they get shot in the butt, they come back later. Well, I hope I'm happy. They become a big pin in your ass after you shoot them once, huh? I, as I was in theirs. I... But I, I wonder who gets pain. it worse, though. I, probably them. Me guns kind of hurt a bit. Well, that's I, what something good to say your about guns? the gun. I, the guns, well, the guns that I did have, I was gold and blue. I'd like now to get I the to little pea some shooters. gold, blue, uh, ones or something. Hi. Did you I see mean, the blueprints that we things. had? I look at these pathetic ones that I got now. These are so pathetic. Well, that's better than my gun. Look at Don't this even thing. Make me feel like a cap. Advanced technology. Oh, well, I bet you could probably do better. Hey, well, maybe we should take it to the armory and see if we can find him a gun. Or not to, at least to the storage area. Bye. Mm, oh, being drunk and then. 
putting deadly count. Sure makes navigating a little I interesting. I what be in this pudding? There's kind of puckle guns rough. in there, it looks like, but no other guns. Puckle? What sort of I gun think is a puckle some gun? Of the French got inside. I, now that I'm thinking about it, when we get the chance, we need to make a bunch of cages. So each vessel that we sail has at least one cage in a storage box with at least two or three pairs of handcuffs to go on the vessel also. I mean, just in we case. don't have to place the cage down. We could just put it in a storage box and then if, if we need to bring the accommodations out onto deck, we could say, hey, ready the accommodations. Or ready the guest quarters, or something like that, so we don't scare whoever. Aye, that's that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I and an, a, another thing that Admiral mentioned to me is that from now on, I instead of what happened with the French yesterday, where we tried to take one and let the other two go to uh, meet our terms, from now on we're going to take them all prisoner. And potentially at the end of the time of them being prisoners, we're gonna collect their skulls. Aye, that that sounds quite well. A reasonable Them skulls will be worth. Aye, it, it sounds reasonable to tie up the loose ends. That way, we don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> I, I mean, we can't Aye. have any slip-ups like a prisoner getting away and it coming crashing down for us again. I, that's kind of what happened. We had a Frenchy escape on us, and well, when you no longer have the person, you no longer have the leverage, so... That's yeah. very true. Well, hopefully, I, now that I live here, we'll see the population bad. of Frenchmen dwindle. Oh, we shall. I, if we could grow our company larger, that would be even better to see the French numbers dwindle because then we could have more warships being made and more warships being sailed at once. Well, once the Jesus gets back from uh, his travels, I'll be meeting with him and we'll have a little bit better backup. I will be working Are we out going some. To meet with uh, Captain Feather? I I just be waiting for bubbles to uh do it. We kind of got sidetracked yesterday. The whole I, French we fiasco. kind of had an <laughs> inevitable uh altercation that came up out of the clear blue. I there was no avoiding that one. I Especially But it's our okay. We'll lick happy our wounds. Nixon. We'll come back stronger and we'll hit them harder. And I think next Aye. time we need to fight them at sea and not at the base. It's probably a more efficient Aye, fight. I agree. They. I well, oh, if we yes. can fight them they, in our seas, we already know sea. to be prepared for the storms. So that's even better if we can have them fight here because we can be prepared resource-wise to repair the ship, whereas they won't. Well, we can also bait Aye. them in when, when a storm happens the... and then just fight them from shore where the tornadoes won't hit us. Just bombard them while they try and navigate. Uh, that won't work. They won't come close. So when I was at the tavern last night, our, there, uh, there was a little birdie that was talking to me. And he said after the French left here, they got their butts handed to them by the English. I. I really... Aye, the English was waiting for them outside our waters and stank their galley. Please tell me. I. <laughs> the Admiral will be so proud. He had. had oh my god. Aye, he, the funny he said, part is he said the if English we would have had the other galley in the water, we could have sank it. Aye, so. The English said that they was working with pirates, and the funny part is, they not be working with us, but the French think that they are. I wonder if so we could align with the English. Twists. At least hire ourselves out as privateers. If they're, if they're saying that they're working with pirates already, I bet we could possibly get them to be I, allies. The little birdie told me that. 
the the Navy was, I guess, persuaded to work with a group of pirates, and they used to work with the French together to take out pirates, but the English betrayed them and went with the pirates. So I believe that they could be bought. Hey, if we go to our uh, other home before it gets raided, we have gold to buy them. I think we were sitting on like 16,000 gold that we still have to move. My word. I between our Cuz we have we have allies. all our gold and all our special resources that we have to go get before somebody gets it from us. I between our allies the Jesus and paying off the English I think will be all right. Well, do we want to go and I, grab some I, So now? we did pay off the English? Easily. Oh, we will. We will. I will talk to them. Believe me, they will accept my offer. Accept the gold. Or, if they don't... If they don't, we they have another target. The others. <laughs> They can litter the bottom of Davy Jones' locker with their bodies if they do not want us. I. <laughs> it's either way. We're just gonna get the job done. Just gotta get this place squared away. I, uh, if you, to an order. I, I, I think I have the wood that I need to make the other galley. I was going to see if possibly I could get some help getting some more thatch and stuff gathered while I'm trying to get fiber also. Because I think uh, the hard part right now is going to be getting the metal from the outpost. Well, I can help uh, gather the plus thatch I for you. I want to start doing but, some training drills or, like, practice attacks, both water and land. To get us used to fighting as a unit. I because what we did last night, we weren't I, working together. I, I, I think what really screwed us over was the one element that kind of went a little rogue. I, I know, that's why I say I think we need to start working on our unity. I, I think between that and the fact that we just came on here, the people aren't used to listening to us too. We're just the newcomers that don't know what we're talking about, too, because we haven't proven ourselves. Aye, but I've talked to Bubbles, and I respect the man highly as a captain. Hence why I call him. <laughs> he be equal as me. Aye. I don't see the man It, it was so less. funny, for the longest time, he could not say Admiral. He'd say, I'm my bubble, 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 bubbles. Arr, that'd be funny. I, I, I told him it would be funny man. if he started talking that way again. Because that made it where I, everybody knew exactly who he was. Well, I hope to be yes, admirable in your eyes one day. both of you since you've come aboard. like 90,000 wood in the shipyard waiting for another galley to be built. We pretty much got the animals the tools and if you'd like to show him around, get him familiar with the place and everything and how it works. I, I got a little bit of business to attend. I just put me to work. Okay. I it was In good here meeting you. is, and it's good meeting you as well. This is all the crafting area. Aye. We've got the tannery, the loom, mortars and pestles, uh, the forge, and then the smithy over here. All very close to the resources it needs. That's good. This is our treasure room in here. My word, that's a lot of storage. Meat for the birdie. I, I 
all the blueprints that we brought are on the bird because I didn't know where exactly to put them yet. So I just figured, fuck it, I'm throwing the bird in here with them. <laughs> all right. I think that might be one I have to play. Ah. That I makes sense. Know. I don't think someone like me should know how to get in there just yet. I, I, I think you could close the other door, but I don't think you can open or close this door. Ah, uh, yes. It needs a pin. But I think that's the only place that people are restricted. We got the kitchen. If you're ever thirsty and you need water, there's water pipes up here where you can get a drink from them if you don't get from the water barrels outside. But in the preservation bags is all kinds of food from crops outside. If you need the orange berries, there's plenty of them growing outside of the gates. All right. This is the uh, VIP room. <laughs> I see. Sure, you can understand why. Or we could call it the French tickler room. <laughs> so if you ever hear one of the two terms thrown around, or if something's being talked about the French tickler, you kind of know what to expect. I'll keep that in mind. Or if you hear anybody talking about, if you hear anybody talking about apples, they're really talking about grenades. Oh, okay. So if you ever hear somebody say they're going to feed you an apple, be prepared. <laughs> Make sure that I don't have the appetite. I... Where'd she go? She's like a ghost. Oh, jeez. There's plenty of animals around. Um, there's some in here. I know there's like a few crows and stuff that are like, it says extra bird or whatever. If you want, you can have. Oh, okay. I think usually the general rule is if it has a name, it's claimed. All right. That seems to be about how it goes. Oh, that's a pretty parrot. It's young still. <laughs> I would recommend at least getting it to where you can ride at least the tier 2 creatures with your skills. Because then that makes it to where you can ride like the bears or the horses or anything or the wolves. As stuff like the lions and tigers and rhinos and elephants and the bigger things like that those are the tier three creatures all right, all right i'll make a habit i'll make a point of uh rushing up that line so i can use these but usually i mean from everything i've seen and from what i know is general rule of them is if it has someone's name with it just but I, I know there's a wolf over here. If it comes down to it and you want to claim it for you, you can have it. Oh, so all right. If need. She's so fast. I don't even think either of these two lions have honestly been claimed. Lion and Roar, thus great names on their colors. I, I think I prefer my lion better. <laughs> I got Simba, and then we have Puma over here somewhere. Those are interesting names. I was going to take one uh, a little rabbit and name it Timon, but... Oh, Mr. Pigs. The rabbit I was going to name that passed away. That's unfortunate. 
Hey, there's even cows that you can milk. One would hope so. Well, at least you'd hope you're milking the cow and not the bull, right? <laughs> So fast. <laughs> Just keep up with her. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just a little jog. Nothing to worry about. I'm not getting tired or anything. galleys yesterday and then we lost two of our brigs <laughs> must have been one hell of a battle not really they were attacking our ships while they were in port and there was what somebody no crew was to fight on back? one of our ships somebody was on one of our ships and they fired a cannonball at them and they started sinking our ships Oh, that's lovely. I. We were in the base and trying to deal with mortars and everything, and I, I wanted to let them know we were still here, so I fired a flare, and then somebody else came out here and fired a flare at them. And after the, fares, the flares got fired, I mean, I, I don't even know what really happened. Things went to hell, and they started shooting and everything. Good to know that they're quick to jump on the gun. I, the thing that I don't get is, like, seriously, about 20 or 30 people came to deal with about six pirates. That says <laughs> a lot about how much they're scared of us. Then. Get out of here, you bastard. <laughs> there we go. I guess I'm a better aim than I thought. Oh, that one's going to hit. Yes. This one's going to miss. This one will hit. And one more. You better run, pussy. <laughs> there we go. It was running for me, and I was punching it. <laughs> Wasn't a brave one. I apparently not. I mean, I have bits. I mean, it's skills and teeth. So, the battle turret is our whaling ship, and the leviathan is what me and the admiral call our ass blaster, because it has cannons on the rear of it. <laughs> so, the leviathan is actually really good for taking out the really old ghost ships where it has the cannons straight on the back, and the battle turret where we go after the whales, we can also kill uh, the cyclops creatures here. Uh, so you have these all kitted out for specific purposes. That's really cool. I, the, those are the two that we brought with us. Well, that one and the Super Turtle. The Super Turtle is pretty much for speed and weight. And the rest of them, I'm not really sure what was going on with them. I, I mean, the galley we've got finished since I've been here, but obviously that's a war vessel. So. Ah. We've got to get another galley pumped out. 
and replace our brigs also. Okay. So I think the big thing is is I've got to finish getting the resources together to do that. Uh, you said something about needing thatch. I thatch and fiber. And where uh, do you need them can... deposited? Uh, it, I've been putting them in the shipyard where the brig is. That's still up. So put it in the same shipyard that the brig is already in, so that when the brig leaves, it's ready to go? Aye. Alright then. So there's a smithy on that shipyard already, so if you have the stuff in the shipyard and you're standing at smithy, all you have to do is look down at your feet and grab the stuff out of the shipyard and then put it in the smithy. Aha, uh -huh. alright then. So I mean, unless we're building the frame for the ship, we don't need to worry about anything else. Okay. I if you uh come with me we could get you some metal tools if you don't have any. I don't know if you grabbed any or not. Well I luckily managed to make some of those before I got out of here or out of Freeport. I can't really keep up with this woman, she's so fast. It's like she was raised by, raised by cheetahs or something. You don't by chance have it where you can ride any of the creatures, do you? Not yet. I'm not really that experienced. But I do have some metal tools for myself. Well, I'd say if you can work on it, try to get it to where you can ride some of the animals and if you use some of the tier 2 creatures, I mean, you can ride the wolf around or use a bear for the carry weight or whatever. Alright, I'll keep that in the mind. the bears can actually hold a decent amount of weight. Alright, I'll probably do um, that and rush up those lines so that I can be very helpful with labor. If we had a gun or something to give you, I'd say take one of the elephants out, but it'd make it harder for you to have to try to defend it with a bow, too. <laughs> That's okay. That's something that can be... The elephants have a lot of carry weight. I, I'll worry about that another well, day. if you give me a few minutes, I'll be, I'll be coming back outside to start farming on stuff, but I have to go think about something. Okay, that'll give me time to try and, and get my house uh, all set whatever, up. Whatever I bring... I will, whatever I bring with me too, uh, for an animal, uh, you can always put whatever on it, carry weight wise too. Very well. But, uh, in the area where all the boxes were, there should be plenty of, like, that wood and fiber for you to make with. Okay. Then, I'll get to some things then. Let's... What do I need to make a bed? I need to make a bed for myself so I can lay my head down. Fibers, hide, thatch, wood. Now she said we have resources I can use, but I don't really want to use a lot of them. That's a terrible first impression. Ah, well, we'll call it introductory allowance. It says sign, says nothing. Okay, nay. I can write on it. The sign says nothing. The sign says nothing. Let's find out how long anybody notices that. But that's my way of making a good first impression. <laughs> that's the great ship Malark. Oh, I can I use this one? I have to use a different one. This is storage for someone else. Here's the crafting area she was talking about. Which means the storage is over here. There it is. This is a lot of storage. Gunpowder, fish oil, grappling hooks, handcuffs and clubs, picks and ballers. This is a lot of stuff. Alright, what's in the tools? That. Scissors! There we go. 
Oh, let's cut their hair and look like a normal human being again. Ah, the hat. I want to equip this hat, and then we will cut our hair. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, there we go. That looks a lot better. Put this to ah. Uh, keep this one on me. I don't think anyone's going to mind if I take just a single sip. Hats. Clothing? Oh, I don't think anybody's going to mind if I take some of this, too. I need to equip myself. I need to be safe. I can they know? That. There. I look a lot safer. But those aren't pirate hats. Armor in fur. Oh, I suppose that's for keeping warm in the winter. Plate armor. Weapons. There we go. I need a sword. Ah, a spear. Throwing knives. Ah, I didn't care if I know how to use any of that. These people are prepared for war. I suppose that's what they said they were going to do with the French. Levers. What's this? Catapult? I have something I can bring to the table to these folk. This is a lot. Fire arrows. Take some regular arrows. Oh, and they've got bows. Plenty and plenty of bows. My word, I've never seen so much stuff in one place. Oh, there we go. I need wood. So I'll take the wood. What else do I need for a bed? Thatch. Fiber. Thatch and fiber. There's thatch. Okay, and uh, well, there was fiber in there. It looks like somebody screwed that up. Unless this is supposed to be for thatch and fiber. No, it just is thatch. There, I made a bed for myself. Got a bed for myself. Let's make a chair for myself. And we will make a storage chest for myself. I didn't, can they... I didn't think they shall... Mind. Okay, that's enough stuff to get me started. Just put all of this stuff away. I'll have stone to deposit. Do I have stone to deposit? I do not. Well, it seems like I'm the only one here with an uh, Scottish accent. Maybe I should adapt more of an English approach. But then again, they are dealing with the English too, and I don't want to run into an Englishman and have them question me. Metal? Do I have metal? Ah, didn't I? Ah, didn't I find any swords? That's unfortunate. What else is here? Metal. Flint. Hide. Hole. Pre-made structures, there was stuff already in here. My wear. I'm going to take one of these wool hooks. Just one, please. Add one more, actually. Maybe one, two in my house. Then again, what else I need? Lanterns! I need one of those for myself. And one of those for my wall. Oops, I need that. I have a vitamin deficiency. Oops. I need to eat something. I'm gonna eat some raw, <laughs> some raw meat. Uh, at least on something, you know. Crystals. This place is loaded. There's so many resources here. Paints. There we go. I need some of this. I need to be able to paint myself. Flare gun. I need three of these on me at all times. That's just a personal habit. That's interesting. Why do I have that as a personal habit? 
40 in blue. That's interesting. What about... I wonder if these folk have a whale. There we go. Do they have mud? Aubergine brown. Maybe I'll use the aubergine. Unless they do have mud. There we go. Uh, do they have yellow? Olive will be the closest yellow they have, it looks like. Oh, well, we have a gold here. And then I'll use the white. Let's see what I can make out of all of this. Decorate myself so I have some sort of personality for everyone. Seems like a place where I'm going to want to make an impression. Hmm. Let's see how bright this orient blue is, actually. Uh huh. There it is. Orient blue isn't as bright as I thought it would be. Okay. Where's the mud? Is this the mud? This isn't mud. What am I coloring? This isn't mud. This is mud. Oh, that's darker. I do know which one I want. Let's look again. Which one's lighter? Mud. Of course it's mud. Oh, well then maybe I can use this one for this. Is there a difference? There's a slight difference. So we'll use the darker bits and the highlights. This is for the underside here. Hmm. Whale? For the underside? No. Olive for the underside. That doesn't look actually very good at all. Gold? Hmm. Actually, let's use gold there. And instead, here, we will use the bright, or the whale blue. Make it look like a dirty rag. There, some personality in my armor. More whale for the pants. No, I ended up going with the brighter stuff. Whale for that part. I want some gold right there. And right there. It's coming along nicely. Mud. Is that the deeper part? Shite brown for the next part. And for this part, yeah. Not for that part. Yes, for that part. No, we will use mud for that part. And shite for that part. With a little bit of white here. Personality. Personality, personality. It's important to make a good impression. I need to look and be like, I know this Irishman, or this Scotsman. I don't even know my own personality anymore. That's when I knew my love was dead. Lowlands away. Oh, that looks so much better. There. Getting moved in already. Get rid of some of the stuff I need to eat before I kill myself. Any more? Okay. I need to eat. I need to cook some of my stuff. I need to cook my stuff. I've been carrying just this meat around. I think there's a kitchen in here somewhere. I feel like there was a kitchen in here. Ah, uh, it was upstairs. Up there. Oh, foods, please. Is there anything really interesting in here? I need some meat. There's some meat. I will put my meat in there. Maybe they'll salt it later. I'm actually just going to keep this this way. 
I don't think anyone will mind. If they do, they know where I live now. So there's that, eh? Oh, lands away, me, John. That song is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of my life. Lowlands, lowlands away, yeah, me, John. And that's when I knew I found a home. Lowlands away. I should probably drink some water and fill up my inventory. Fill up my water. Oops, there's no water in there. Hmm. Is there water in there? I'll access the inventory of the actual uh, tap. It says there's water in here. Fill. Why are you not filling? Can I fill it directly from the reserve? Okay, it's not filling. Where's, uh, where's the nearest rain bucket? They said something about me being able to drink from what they're upstairs. Let's just do that. I'll just rush through. Kitchen. There's the taps. It says I can just drink water. Oh, I can drink water from this. Which means I should be able to. Ah, oh, look at that. They already had some. That's lovely. There we go. the damn door. Oh, that looks much better. Strutting my stuff. I'm making my way downtown. Look like I'm actually prepared to fight or something. Makes me feel strong. I didn't remember where my house was. Shite, I didn't think about writing down an address mine was at the edge of one of these probably down here I think yes there we go Jan McKeever this is my home now oh, there already was storage in here oh, I think she mentioned something about that all right so let's put a bed right here with a space on both sides, you know, for the missus to slide in. And there we go. Now oh, people know it's mine. There's a few other items I thought I was supposed to put in here. There's a chair. And on top of the chair there is a cook, and it looks like I'm going to only need one in this house, so let's put a chair over here. Maybe I'll put a desk there later. Alright, let's tilt it a little bit that way. I'll put a hook on the wall. And access this inventory there. I'm going now I can hang this fella up here. Interesting. And now I have storage personal inventory for myself and I can actually pin code this stuff and nobody will be able to access it. All right, let's put things away that I don't need. My emergency clothes. And my music. I don't need those. I guess I didn't need any of the storage in the end. Are so low still. Mm. Okay, I think I think that's all I'm going to need on me. I think I remember some more stuff. Let's see about that. I wanted to make sure that my fortitude was at a reasonable amount. I need to find a niche for myself. 
Maybe I'll become smith ammunition. I can make guns. Become a gunsmith. And I can make my own weapons. Got fighting using pistols and rifles. Uh, that's a good way to make value, I think. I can make a whole bunch of weapons and fill up that weapon bin. That's what we need to do. I need to go to the armory. Yes, please unlock that armory. Where is... Oh, no, that's the wrong kind of thing. Shite, shite. I think I needed something else. I needed guns. I needed guns. Where's guns? Where would guns be at? Firearms are way down here. Uh, let's just change this up a little bit. Little bit of intelligence isn't that bad. I need to get archery. So that I can get all the way down to firearms. Can I do that? <laughs> Lovely. Got archery. I should learn the basics of the bow. Secrets of the bow. Should make sure I can fight with my bow, you know. Ah, and I can make pistols now. Simple flintlock pistol or something. I need to do more with my life than just the basics. I can't just survive, I need to live. Basic water swimming. I want to be able to swim decently and breathe decently. That's my new life. I'm going to make a whole bunch of pistols for myself, I think. Don't think anyone will mind me outfitting the armory again. Get clothing back on. Rupert Crumbleweed? Man, Seer. Shrug and Tom Bell, these are interesting people. Okay, I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to put things to rest earlier than I thought I would. Just going to lay down and rest here and end things.